Edric Everhart, willing exceptions in the championship lineage of Rods. I've spent a lot of years in the tag team division of my career, held many a championships, but let's face it, Jim, these two guys right now are the cream of the crop in Rise. The argument could be made that PB Smooth should be the Rise Grand Champion right now. He had Matt Connor dead to rights. And it was System Elite interjecting themselves and costing PB Smooth his Rise Championship. And that brings us to where we are today. PB Smooth recruiting his partner, Trey Lamar, to come in here and try to give a little payback to System Elite for getting involved in that Grand Championship match. And perhaps the greatest payback for PB Smooth would be to take the very championships that System Elite sold their souls for. That's right, we've touched on this many a time. With all this that's been going on, being Rise Wrestling with the Grindhouse, the Tag Team Champions, as well as the Grand Champion, has distanced himself for that. They care about one thing and one thing only, and that's those Tag Team belts they're holding in their hands right now. And you can see the animosity boiling over here immediately. Referee George Ross, the poor soul, selected to try to uh, control this. Introducing first the challengers at a combined weight of 450 pounds. He is larger than life, Mr. Fresh to Death, Pretty Boy Smooth, and his tag team partner, Trey Lamar. 40 acres! What a combination. And introducing the champions at a combined weight of 446 pounds, Big Bad Ty Cross and the new Edric Everhart. They are the first ever Rise Tag Team Champions. System Elite. And the reception for System Elite sums up much of their reign as the first and only. Rise Tag Champions, look out here! Lamar and PB Smooth completely blindsided before the bell. And PB runs over the Tag Champions. System Elite may finally have to pay for their sins here tonight. Now this is very personal for PB Smooth. Like we said, these two gentlemen cost him the Rise Grand Championship, and he has not forgotten about that. A System Elite sandwich, courtesy of PB Smooth. Now referee George better watch himself. He gets in the way, he's gonna get run over like a 12-year-old like a, uh, in a drive-by. You want to talk about dominance, look at the way that PB is heaving System Elite around the ring. He is a combination of speed, size, and agility as PB Smooth, and he's taking it to the champs pretty much all by himself right now. Paul, I'm going to say it right now, one way or another, I believe we will be watching PB Smooth on national television someday. I can't agree with you more. 
Ray Lamar setting something up here. Highlight reel moment here. Look out! Tope Con Hewa clears the top rope easily. Athleticism personified is Trey Lamar. And Paul, it took mere moments for the Rise Tag Titles to be in real jeopardy here. More down under, up and over. Poetry in motion is Trey Lamar. Yeah, he's got he's got Edric Everhart rocking and reeling right now. Everhart elevates Lamar. Beautifully done. Just Lay beautiful. Look out, he got him here. Here we go, baby. Let me get some. To watch his athletic ability is truly beautiful, Paul. Without a doubt. For such a young young man new to this business, he is without a doubt one of the most athletic individuals I've seen so far. Absolutely, Trey Lamar. Much like PB Smooth, only really in the early few years of their careers. And uh, Edric might want to rethink things here. Edric done messed up, Paul. Yes, he done. And he's paying for it now. Oh, and there's one for Ty Cross's trouble, too. Lamar is athleticism personified. PB Smooth may be dominance personified. Oh, for a man his size, for the athletic ability and the agility he has, it is absolutely amazing. And Paul, a side note here, PB Smooth is not new to tag team wrestling. He is a former absolute intense wrestling tag champion out of Cleveland. Oh but Lamar just got dropped on his head. Nasty impact. And the complexion of this matchup changing very, very quickly here. And that's one thing that we have to say about System Elite. When it comes to tag team work, they are as good as anyone you're ever going to find, oh, or not. Excellence personified in that ring. There's a reason they're the Rise Tag Team Champions, and it's because they have all that ability. And they, be, they may be the most strategic tag team in the tri-state area as you're seeing right here that front chantry preventing Trey Lamar from making the tag. Hey, let's make no mistake about it. To win those championships, they beat the team in Rise Wrestling. The undefeated team. Nearly two years the main event went without losing a match until they ran up against System Elite in those finals. Hey, I don't care what you say about their attitude. That's something when you think about it. And not only did System Elite defeat the main event? To this day, System Elite is the only team to defeat the main event in Rise. That's right. Lamar's head bouncing off the canvas like a basketball that time. And look at how deliberate Ty Cross is, dropping the knee right to the side of the face. Notice when he covers too, not only does he hook the leg, but he rolls the body weight of Trey Lamar over top of his own shoulders as well, forcing Lamar to exude even more energy to get out of the pinfall. And now the body lock is just going to squeeze and compress all the air out of Lamar. Trey Lamar trying to fight his way out. Interception, perfect ring placement. And Lamar kicked out. And Lamar is extremely talented, but he's in the wrong part of town with a tag team that can do it quite arguably better than anyone. And the reason why is because they have those championships. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna attempt to wear down Trey Lamar now. Ground him, if you will. Keep him from being able to execute those maneuvers. And let's not forget, it was just a few months ago, it was Trey Lamar answering the open challenge of Zach Thomas, and Lamar came within inches of winning that matchup. It took just one small slip that Thomas was able to capitalize upon. So Trey Lamar has already proved how competitive he can be. Oh, he's one hell of a hot top prospect here. But you notice System Elite, what they've done here. 
They've taken the smaller man of the team and cut him off from P.D. That's no accident. That's no coincidence. They're doing that as deliberate as deliberate can be. They want to keep the big man out there on that outside of the ring at all costs. Look at the leg here. They've had that plan since this matchup was announced. As soon as Ty Cross and Edric Everhart found out they were going to be challenged by PB and Trey, they started planning and plotting, make no mistake about it. Oh, there's, there's no two ways about that. Cut off the smaller guy, keep PB smooth on that apron. Let's, if anybody's going to do damage to System Elite in this match physically, it's going to be PB smooth just by virtue of his pure size and strength. And again, we're seeing System Elite exploit the position of the referee. They lure in PB Smooth and then go to work behind the referee's back. Ty Cross shoots the half, gets just two. Paul, let's be honest here. We've we've sung the praises, rightfully so, of, of PB and Trey Lamar. Individually, Ty Cross and Edric Everhart are not as athletic or not as agile or have as much power as PB Smooth or Trey Lamar. However, collectively, System Elite as a team, and that's what this matchup is, a tag team matchup. Collectively, System Elite is at the top of the mountain. Without a doubt, they've been doing this much longer than PB and Dre have. They've been down the, up and down the road, and they've been up against all kind of opponents. They know what to do at any given moment in that ring. I mean, quite, quite frankly, and I don't mean this as a slight as much as I don't like their attitude. Individually, their characteristics are moot. That's not the point here. As a team, they are simpatico. They are continuity personified. Right, and that's the name of that's the name of the game, and that's what's written on those belts. Tag team champions. And that's why they're tag champions, one way or another. Because they work on this not just the same page, not just the same sentence, they're reading the same word, word for word, inside the, those ring ropes. You know, I've had my name beside a few tag team championships in my day, as we well know. But I'll tell you right now, this is the way you do it. You keep that man out of the way of his partner, you wear him down. Beautiful payway kick by Lamar, but he inadvertently put himself further away from PB to make the tag. Can Lamar summon the energy to finally make the tag here? He's got he's to dig down deep and get over to PB Smoother. This matchup is going to be over very soon. And he's got to get past Edric. Edric is going to try to roadblock Lamar here. He's got himself positioned very well to try to keep Trey Lamar from getting this tag team partner. Simultaneous here tags. Here comes, yeah, here comes Ty, Ty Cross. Cross just being pinballed by PB Smooth now. Ty Cross went for shots to the back of the neck. Yeah, but to no avail, apparently. Oh, some big Samoan drop. He's got him here. And just barely did Ty Cross save those Rise Tag titles. A hell of a contest. And I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to say this right now. Prime for prime, I think System Elite would have even gave the wrong crowd a run for their money. That's just how good these guys are, tag team strategy. Look out. Rolling elbow, diving oh. ace crusher. That's the teamwork we were talking about. No. Can't keep the big man down. And Edric Everhart cannot believe it. A look of astonishment on the face of Edric Everhart right now. He doesn't know what to do. They hit that combination absolutely perfectly. That was pinpoint precision. What else can they do? What else do they have to do They're to put the seven foot PB smooth down to the canvas? They're trying to set something up here. Oh, big right hand. Oh, he caught him. That's a knockout That's shot. Edric Everhart is out cold. Ty Cross is scurrying for his life. Uh, well, PB Smooth has something more to say about that, that's for sure. They're going to set him up here. Got him down. Tag Stray Lamar. And the aerial artist looking to fly. Double oh. stop. 
He's got him. Oh. And just barely, you get no closer than that. Edric Everhart at the very last minute making the save on his partner, Ty Cross. I knew this matchup would be competitive, but I didn't know it would, it would be this competitive. Nah, what's, what's Edric doing here? Uh, I think he just told ref the referee to count him out. They're taking their ball. It looks like they're going to try to take their ball and go home. No, we can't let them do this. No, this can't end like this. Wait a minute now. These two, they know they're in trouble. Uh -oh. Here comes PB right around. Right, look out. He's chasing them. Well, Moore takes out Everhart. Feeds him in now to the big man. Oh, that's it now. Here he goes. Got him. Knight. Got him. Oh, Paul, I don't know. What it's, what's like it, what's it going to take? How are we going to find a winner? Ty Cross once again. Now it's Ty Cross saving Edric Everhart from the pin by PB Smooth. This goes back to System Elite working on the same page, the same sentence, and the same word. Oh, low bridge there. And the big man got hung up, his height being used against him. And if ever if Everhart wasn't knocked out before, he is now. He's seeing stars. Like, yeah, Ty Cross may be going for the oh, thumb to the eye. Rolling elbow knocks PB off the apron. He goes tumbling to the concrete. Trey Lamar trying to go up top. Oh, oh man! Right in the Soccer forehead. kick. Right in the forehead. He caught him. And, and whoa, whoa! You gotta be kidding him. me! Look out here! Referee George never saw it. He was used to human shield. No. Damn it! Not Come like on. This. Here are the winners, and still. Rise Tag Team Champions, Big Bad Ty Cross, and the new ugly, Edric Everhart, System Elite. After what should have been a stellar matchup, System Elite, the same way they won those championships, Take a damn shortcut. Well, at the end of the day, Jim, let's face it, as long as you walk out the champs, it really, in their minds, it doesn't matter how they do it.